Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. This is our new brickworks over here, over on the uh, the industrial island, looking, I guess, up the main road right there to the original settlement. This is our lower level, newer neighborhood, sand pit. How are these guys going? Let me turn my music down a little. Oh, we're loading up. Got a batch going. Working on the next batch. And working on the next batch. <laughs> Okay, so we got three folks employed over here. Boy, that music is unpredictable. It's quiet at times and loud at times. Um, do I need more workers in there? Probably not. Not for a while. There's lime over here. There's 10,000 bricks over here. Are we moving anything more into here? Not yet. 2,400. Okay. Yeah, I went to record this episode yesterday and sat here and realized that I was not I was tired, <laughs> aching. Spent the day painting and doing other things, working and and it just it didn't feel conducive to making a new uh, episode. So I decided to not do it. So cart shed is after this house here. All right, now the music turned off completely. <laughs> oh well, I give up. Um, so new cart shed. And I w it was suggested in the comments that I set this blacksmith to metal parts only with the explanation that they will work on work on these things in order. So they're going to spend most of their time making nails and not so much time making metal parts. Which makes sense. We've seen them do that before. So if I remember to, I could even turn the nails off over here for an episode and then, then turn them back on. I figure if we just had nails and metal parts in both of them, then they would all make some. But, yeah, we could force the issue for a little while. No point in hiring more carpenters when there's not enough parts to even do anything. So they are just they would just be sitting around there twiddling their thumbs. So one carpenter can keep up with all of this if he's given the parts to, to do his job. And that's what we have failed at. You are telling me what? That you're empty and ready to tear down. Demolish that one. Uh, bring you up right into there. You I want to tear down too soon. So laborers are going to be... Actually, you are taking a rest. When you get back, you'll be moving lime from there to there. And there's plenty of room. 10,000. Yeah. Okay. So once those two are gone, then we'll look at what goes over here. I'm thinking a third one of these. So three of them in a row, all lined up just right. And then decide later if we want to try it for another three. So a, a complex of six that will give us all the storage we need for this area. Or if we want to spread that out and have lots of more roofs here and there. That's possible too. But it might be kind of nice to have a central storage area. It's kind of near the middle. Near enough. So from a bird's eye view, our bridge coming in up here. The road comes in down there. So maybe we'll make a circle coming in from the top and leaving out from the bottom. That might be kind of neat. Actually, it's not that far off, but it's enough to, yeah, enough to drive some folks nuts once I get it all set up. <laughs> Maybe we'll curve the road around and make up for it. So we're working on these houses this episode, working on laying out this area again, getting a couple of asheries in here, getting the soap works up and going. Um, what else? Need some water over there. You still are not getting anybody to deliver the flour from here. That is interesting. Let's just send a cart up there. So flower all of you to here. Yeah, you're going to there. Flower. There you are. Um, what else is happening? We're emptying this place little by little. The kids are are uh, in charge of moving the big heavy bricks around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what else? Seems like there were a couple of other issues from last time that. Actually, I had some answers for. I know one of them was right here. What are the chances that we're going to have two, three batches of leather going at the same time? It has happened. But did we clear out a bunch at, all at once as a, as a result of that? There was a time we lost a batch, and I hired a third person to make sure that that never happened again. 
It was suggested that one of these guys get employed over here, but I think I'm going to leave the three of them. We'll just hire somebody here. And he's going to work on sheepskins, but we're actually a ways before we're ready to do that. So let's wait another episode till these guys start to slaughter. Then we'll have sheep, sheepskins to, uh, to start working on. And batches of... We're doing 200 over there. We'll do a 150 until I know how many are in it. I think it was 50 per sheep, but I'm not sure. I want to see that happen, and even that, three sheep at a time. Well, we do give birth to three or four a season. So within one season, we could kick three or four out the top end of, of this thing, the four-year-olds. We could do that. Okay. Well, let's protect our one ram for now until we know what's going on. And we'll leave it at that. So what else? So we're taking this one down. This one hasn't moved yet. So that's a thing for soon. You should be getting building materials brought over. You're not. So we're still... We have one person here. We are delivering things. I'm running on slow. That's what's taken so long. Okay. Getting a cart back to storage. That's you. You're bringing lumber. No, you're bringing thatch. And resources. That's you. You're bringing clay. Taking a rest. Cart's going back. Taking a rest and supplying resources. You are you're bringing clay by hand over here. Because we need more carts. We need more metal parts if we can get those carts. Yeah. We'll get there eventually. Not too worried about it. But you, we are definitely making... Imp Look at all the kids! Look at that! They've all been employed to move bricks. That's what you do with kids, I tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's empty you out as well. Flour, that much needs to go out to here too. Okay. We don't have any orders any uh, traders going on uh farms are fine you guys look like loggers and you are headed to work on the soap works aren't you even though i've got them all red checked for these guys so where are they Walking through, pause, there they are. Running over here. And taking out apparently a tree that I missed. Right on the border. Okay. So maybe these guys are working on some of them too. Yeah, they're well they're walking through there. Who was that? And where no, you what? <laughs> what you doing? Uh bring bringing bring building materials? No. So you guys we were down to one person. Why is that? We're in February. We're still on this wonky schedule. Let's go for it. Let's just keep you guys hired and see what you do. Though, once we cross 18 logs over here, they're not going to take any more down. And we had set other red X's up in here. Have you done all these? Looks like you have. Um, it was up this road here and into here. And then there was a couple of them out over here. So you're going to take these out first. Dracachi's visiting. So we have two X's left on this side. Then you're going to get back to working over there in the soap works. Okay. Uh, Dracachi is this one. World map. You're right there. You want to sell us salt, lime, leather, metal parts. We could do that just to get us going. We could. It's expensive. But we could do 20. That's four carts worth. Sure. So, 10 gold coins coming out of our 6,300. So, that's on its way. Buying. So, iron and leather. Where are we at? Uh, H-I. Iron 400. Leather. You are right there. 24. Okay. So, we'll never make as much leather as we're going to use. Especially since we're selling all the shoes. So, world map. Dirkachi. 20 more days. Leather. Let's bring in... 1,000. Can I just start typing? It doesn't work that way. I've got to highlight it. Okay. And deal. So, iron we don't need right now. Though we're going to be making a lot of metal parts. 
and six of them working. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, did I see it? Yeah, iron. Let's do 1,000. 1,100. Well, that's what I typed, so that's what we're getting. Pigs, cows, horses, flour, sallow. Right there, 100. So let's get, say, 200 more. And deal. And dried fish and potatoes. All right, so sell our shoes. You're willing to buy 760, so let's do that. Shoes. 760. And... Let's see, buckwheat charcoal, there we go, only $29.51. Town storage is zero right now. That can't be good. Hmm, interesting. Um, let's deal that one, but let's take you down to 10,000. So you're only going to replace two. I saw 600 just went in. We'll check that out in a little bit, see what's going on. But I've got 11 days left. So sunflower oil. Let's sell off 1,000 of that deal. Sunflower oil. 1,000. And let's sell clothes or no. Honey, only 1,000. No. Apples, we should be down to just a few hundred. And that is it. Now, what else do you sell? Anything that I'm not getting now? Okay, we're good there. And what is with the charcoal? Charcoal is probably to do with... Well, for starters, we're about to burn that one and this one. So we're getting close there. And over here, charcoal is stored in this one now. And we have none. And that noise was warehouse just went down. And you're burning. So we're going to have eight to 9,000 sitting in there here real quick. Okay, so we're fine. Um, charcoal is used, of course, here. And we only have 200 available over here. So that's going to shut us. We have none available. Okay, over here, we've got 182. So that's going to go quick. Um, let's do something temporary just to make sure that there isn't a delay there. Let's slow down first. Uh, let's take you down. Let's just... Now, if I turn you off, that will cancel that order, so I can't do that. As long as it's listed, I can't... I don't think I can send charcoal out of here. Let's try something. If I take you down to 4,000, and then cart charcoal of 2,000, to you that worked it, it lets me even though it's a line item and let's cart another 2000 to this one okay we're successfully ordered all right so we will move charcoal manually into those places while we're burning this one and loading up that one and loading up these two over here. I don't see any plumes. Yep, there it is. We got one burning. So they would have gotten there eventually, but we're just helping them out. Okay, flour has left. You guys don't buy flour, right? Uh, you were trying to sell flour. No salt. Flour is not in that list. You're trying to sell flour. Okay, so that's not a thing. So that means we've got a house done over here. And somebody is living there right now. Uh, you are 18 and 18. Young couple. And they came in with 60, 50 some wealth. So came from a rather uh, um, well off parents. You're over here. 40s. That's the same one, right? Let's go over here. And you back over there. You. All right, there's the other house. 60. 40 and 60 made 60 somehow. Okay, good. Um, I, I haven't checked in here for a while. Lots of firewood. 75 logs left. So not much longer and this guy gets to go away. We get to find something, uh, some, figure out something else to put into here. Folks are sitting on the new benches. I was thinking... 
some kind of a maybe a tree back there but it have to be a low tree so maybe fruit trees behind these benches um apple now yeah, we could do all of them we could just to get different kinds of blooms so where to make them close let's span them out a little bit so you're gonna go there and there there's apple and apricot too close to another tree Ooh, we have limits okay so we're not going to be where I thought I, we were okay you're there and there and I can't get a cherry in there then is that what you're saying cherry yeah places occupied close as I can get is right there and that looks kind of funny Okay, so let's go with bushes. We'll get some lilacs in here. Right there. There. And then some dogwood between these three. Oops. Who was that? Okay. Um, dogwood. Dogwood. There you are. Actually, what did I just see there? Dog rose. Have I been calling it Dogwood this whole time? It's Gilder Rose and it's Dog Rose. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I've... Yep. Brain fart. Okay. So we'll let that bloom out, see what happens. And I need to get to the River Trader. Right. There you are. You look different from the backside. Right there. You are. Wanting to sell us salt, iron, honey, mead. We need to check on our mead reserves. Uh, sunflower oil you will buy. We had only that much left. Flour we can sell, though. Let's sell like 1,500. Yeah, something like that. You'll take 98. So 1,500. Deal. And flower what else warm clothes broadcloth sallow onions carrots apples lime beer and that's it okay and we don't need any more window glass you're still sitting here 1700 and a thousand glaze all right and we still have plenty of room in here yeah so we're fine okay and what was what did I just click on Something that didn't look good. Cart shed. Yeah, we're hurting over there too. So, have the parts arrived? Metal parts have arrived. So, I guess I should have bought more. I didn't realize there were so many carts down. We do have parts now, and the carpentry has gone down because it's March. I think we're going to have to defeat that this time. So, let's put you back in. Click. There we go. And... What do we have in the way of parts now? No parts here. Not enough charcoal. Did that not get moved? Apparently it didn't get moved. Uh, but we have a lot of people not employed right now. So, in fact, even these guys are not employed. Um, what do we got going on over here? So you guys are still employed. Not enough charcoal. So the charcoal has not arrived. So let's do the same thing we're doing over here. Apply to all. So we're down to one person over here. And with everybody not employed but doing things like working for the farm. Which should have happened. Oh, the one field that doesn't need plowing is now fallow. Okay. So, but you should be employed over here. This one's ready. There you are. Okay. <laughs> So the plowing's happening, but once they get these done, they should start moving charcoal and everything we need all over the map. So that should be fine. Now, are we going to get our flower moved down here? Looks like we are. We have quite a few people working on it. Okay. You guys still have carts? You're down two carts over there, too. Yeah, a little bit of a cri uh, cart crisis going on. A cart apocalypse. <laughs> All right, so you 7,500. Nothing has moved out of here yet. 
and it's probably a cart thing. In fact, do I have you set up? Worker by cart, of course. Um, let's do laborer by cart and carter on that one. And let's go ahead and apply that to all of them. So we can move things around the warehouses by carts. And eventually we're going to see carts coming back into the system. But got other things to get done first. Um, I'm seeing charcoal being delivered big time. Okay, so in that case, now we can go ahead and turn this all back on and apply to all get you guys hired up again and get more of those metal parts going okay and then once that happens I'd say let's go ahead and put a second one in now that we have parts to build with and they're going to be making parts pretty fast now that we have charcoal and blacksmiths employed okay um, you guys are ready for everyone and no one's down there because they're all here not many actually interesting they're out there somewhere they're all in between jobs they'll figure it out otherwise um how did we do with our sheep we have sheared we have 800 and some and it's probably time to get a second worker into this one probably so seasonal hiring which is all messed up march should be off and in this case we're going to do men and women just to get somebody in there and okay I, I turned it down because there wasn't enough wool before to keep the uh, keep everything going that's what it was and I also thought that it looked weird having this thing running with the river frozen okay yeah I guess we'll we'll do that that's fine two people six months a year seven months a year I think we can do that otherwise you guys got moved out to there and we're at 20 so one newborn they seem to be popping out all through the year though it isn't just a spring thing like i would have thought okay so i guess we're okay there yeah okay so what do we got going on we've got flax and hemp good and wheat and I haven't checked up on these guys in a long time plenty of hemp and flax and two people that have not been hired for quite some time yeah okay so April May June July September February let's get you guys up and running again otherwise we have enough here to keep making clothes and to make broadcloth or make uh, warm clothes so they're fine Leather is being delivered, and you guys work most of the year, two people, so they'll be making more shoes. Saddlery is not really doing one person, just kind of working here and there. And you have metal parts. That is probably not to our advantage right now. Yeah. Um, calling for... 100 metal parts. Let's keep you at 20. And let's keep you at 250 leather. Let's let the leather predominantly go to the shoemaker. Okay. Chickens. 1,500. 1,500. Good. Meats and eggs are in the system. Now the chicken over here, 500 and 500. So... Buckwheat, 1,000. And that's fine. Okay, we're good there. Yearly, 54. I don't know what the yearly means. I've never thought about it. So, I guess if you just want to give them a different kind of limit, you can only have 20 metal parts per year to make a horse tack. Maybe that's the sort of thing. You, we're, we're dropping now. We're finally moving it. We have so many people available for, for laborers. Let's see. No way to up the priority system here, I'm assuming. So you, two people, and we're making parts. And let's say that laborer by hand can deliver the parts 
to us from the blacksmith just to keep them working. 27 available over here and five over here so they've already been delivered. Okay. And we have lots of iron there and lots of iron there and lots of iron over here. Okay, that's all working fine. So what else? So two cart sheds are down. Others are in trouble. Wonder if they or cart parking. Wonder if they work in the cart sheds first. You had two down. Now you're you're repaired. So I'll bet you they they concentrate on those. Kind of like laborers will concentrate on the farms first. I wonder if the carpenter concentrates on the the carters first. So you guys are working where now? You're sewn. You're sewing. And we're just our own three people at the moment. That's all there is. Interesting. Going to be late on that last field again. Otherwise, we've planted some. Oh, we're planting. Okay. I was wondering why that was so late. So does this one... There it is. It went in. Okay. Even that little strip was enough to make it happen. You need to get out here and do it. Is that what you're doing right now? Yep. Going in, go back, get some seeds, come out, do that one. Yeah. So, April is home planting season. There you go. Kind of thin on the sides, though. Otherwise, you, down to 5,100. And not all of it's going in here. We're finding other places to put it. Interesting. Otherwise, we're getting lots of charcoal moved around. Charcoal's coming in, going out. You guys, 5,000 lime left. I wonder if they would dump... No, you're not lime. You're quick lime. Never mind. So lime goes to here. It goes to here. Now, where is the lime works? There you are. So the lime's being dropped off over here. Aha. Instead of into storage. I see. Eh. That works. That's where a lot of it's going to land anyway. No, yeah. Yeah, because it then goes from here to storage. Right. But we've seen them put planks right back into the forestry, so it can go backwards into the system. You guys are getting a wooden log to... Now you are, what, waiting for a partner? Which means there's nobody else working. Oh, there's chopping a tree. So you are heading in and working on the road right now because I've marked oh that's the other site right there and it's ready to go okay so soap works is clear back over here we could move you into there you just came from there are you guys delivering things again we need to get all the wood delivered <clears throat> 7300 wood before they start working on bricks again yeah one of these days we'll get that done it's listed next we could just leave it and just let it happen yeah, we could. I mean, we've got three big yards that have gone in. Cart shed's done. So we're going to have quite a bit more food entering the system. i got to make up for however many apartments are going to be in here. Five or seven or something like that. Without making any food of their own. So that's, a, uh, that's an issue. So I don't want to put in a bunch of row houses until I've all, I put in an equal amount of big yards to kind of make up for it. To eventually all land in these two that then eventually make their way all the way back out to the uh, the stores in here and start feeding these people with it but it'll be interesting to see that work so yeah okay we'll leave that one going and we'll just let them supply that you guys should be here there we go oh we gotta make carts <laughs> let's make two for starters and just call it good we'll leave the uh Leave the rest of the parts for repairs. Two will get them going. Otherwise, you guys are delivering something. Are you going to go pick up stuff? What you doing? You're bringing charcoal around. Ah, that's what we're doing. So you're bringing charcoal there. You are dumping off supplies into here. Ah, Blocklia. Right there. You... 
buy our salt? No. What do you do? Iron, horses, sheep, lime, charcoal, nails, and stone. You buy flour, and we're not going to sell any more. You buy potatoes, we're not going to sell any. You buy dried fish. Um, We're into May. We could do like 600 of that. Sure. Deal. And you're this one. So, dried fish. Where are you? Right there. 600. Temporary. And we could move this back up again. Right? Um, let's just make you 10,000. And are you in the list? You're not. You're list here. Okay, so we got 12,000 back in town again. Okay, so 5,000, we have 7,000 left in town after we fill the trading post back up. Okay, so you want to buy sunflower oil. We'll wait till we have more than that. Leather, textile, cloth, metal parts, horse tack, 66. We have 92 in town. Let's do that. Deal and horse tack, horse shoe. Okay. Am I missing something? Horseshoe and horse radish. Slow down. Horse tack. It's already listed. Oh, okay. 66. Let's make you temporary. Because that threw me for a loop. So let's not do that anymore. We'll keep charcoal. And that's it. Anyway, also to sell. Honey is a thousand. So, I think we're done here. Okay. So, that is good. And working on you. And we are delivering wood. Now, we're bringing bricks over, too. Interesting. So, they're not necessarily going to do it in order. I expected that they would. Interesting. So, it'll happen when it happens. You need sand. So, that must be what's happening there. More bricks are coming over. So you're bringing over 600 at a time, or is that... No, that's two loads. That's 200 at a time. 48. 50. Otherwise... Now, there's nothing that we're missing here. We have the window glass. We have the sand. We have the lime. Yeah, we got it all. Okay. Um, still waiting for you to leave. Down to 4,100. Um, I could just move it by cart. I could. Let's do it. Make that go away. So, and nothing is already queued up. So, let's just cart the whole thing. Right there to there. Get that done. Okay. So, then we'll get another building set up in there. Otherwise, what? We are into May. Carts are down all over the place. You guys still have parts? Carpenters, we still have parts coming in. Good. So, in that case, I guess we could even throw a third person in for a little while. Yep. Nails? By not... By only making metal parts, are we hurting ourselves? Nails are still at 950. Okay, so we're good for a while. So, our road is shot through the woods, and then we start to track over here. So we could start to shape this a little bit. Right there, three rail, out like so. And I guess that actually goes away once this happens, so we need it out over here. here yeah, this is the main road right here eventually. So a fence that comes off to the side or something. Putting trees and benches there don't work. They're, they just walk right, almost, almost right through them, or right up against them so that it, uh, the pathway still spreads underneath. So you gotta you gotta use the little fences. Not much else is as effective. Little fences and park benches to take trees down. Yeah, that's those are my secrets. So right here, are you a forestry? Yeah. So let's get rid of you. These guys. Maybe we'll leave that one. Anything else starting to grow up in our pathway? This pathway needs to move. Yeah, I guess. 
don't know. That's not the actual road. So where that will end up being in the end, I don't know. Maybe there won't be a pathway here anymore. It'll travel along here, then cut in. How are we here now? Click. Child is born. And still only 3,000 wood, but we're got most of the bricks. More than half now. Good. Now the thought for over here. Farm 2. Eventual subdivision of significant size. Maybe some more row houses. Maybe, maybe not. We've got the fish over there, fish over there, future-proofing this area for another source of food. Otherwise, I'm thinking hops, farms, and wheat. Now, distillery. Let me see those. That's over here somewhere? Yeah. Uh, from wheat and from barley and hops. So it seems like we would want another farm over here that produces wheat and barley predominantly and then hops farms over here now I don't know of anybody that buys hops so planting and you know building the hops farms early may not be a wise thing we could get the hops growing over here and make the brewery and distillery or out in this area along with the glass and the pottery and all those sort of buildings um, we just did you. I doubt there's anything else we need to add. We needed to check the mead. Mead right now is... Well, we have gone through over 3,000. That's a lot. How are you guys doing? You're at 50 now. So your wealth has finally improved. You did lose two kids, though. So that helped out a lot. That was the balance point, the tipping point. So you're not feeding them anymore these folks don't have any chance of marrying and leaving <laughs> so that's probably not a thing so okay so we could up the taxes on you just a little bit treasury tavern let's take you up to one now one gold per month okay um so let's get some more meat in that is River Trader. And you need 2,500. That didn't work. There we go. 250 out of our almost 7,000 now. Deal. So that's on its way in. And that will get moved up into the, uh, into the granary. You are almost done. Reserved by going to work. So I assume you're the, the one who's going to be doing it. Then we'll tear that building down and think about a couple of asheries. Get those going before the soap works get done. You are where now? Still 5,300 wood, 650 bricks. What's with the wood? There's 11,000 wood right here. Just a matter of getting them to do it, huh? All right, so you... Right there, grabbing it. You're working. So somebody else entirely is going in for it. There's the cart. Nope, that's not it. So you're just working. You're not even helping. So fire you. <laughs> Goodbye. Go on home. And you are supplying resources. You're grabbing lime. So you went to... A long way to go get a cart, didn't you? And you're dropping it off. And now what? You're taking a rest. So you're not the one. So who's the 300? That's grabbing lime. Not that one. How about this one? Ah, there you are. 150, 100. Someone else is grabbing 100. Is that you? Nope. You? Nope. You? Yep. Good. Empty. And we can demolish you now. Move you up to the front. Right in, right in line with these guys. They can continue dropping off goods. We've got over 10,000 bricks in place now. So we're just waiting for the wood now. And that's a 
thousand at a time, so if they got the carts, there's one right there. That is just four loads, and they're going to start building a row house. Nice. Otherwise, they're going to tear this one down, so wait for them to, to move over and work on that job. There they go. Start tearing that apart, then they'll probably... I've noticed that they'll go from one job to another without having to take a rest in between if they're near each other. My shoulder is really aching right now. That's why I keep shifting over and mm, trying to stretch that thing out. I think I've got a pinched nerve in my my spine. I've got a uh, shoulder blade and ache all the way down the arm like it's being pinched at a root. And, uh, you know, affecting a large, uh, you know, several areas at once. Probably need to go and say hello to our local chiropractor. Yep. Anyway, so we'll see how much longer I can go. Anyway, you're done, and we need to get these out of here. So make empty, and I assume you as well. If I can just get the nails to click. I can't. You can go away. You can go away. And give me the nails, give me the nails. Oh, I had it. There you are. Make empty. All right, so do those two. We are, everyone has gone back to work, so we're not in harvest or sowing season. So once those are gone, in fact, I can set the other one right now. So let's do that. Same alignment. You sift right into here. Area is occupied. All right, so looks like we line up pretty close right there. Three of you, and let's shift. And out of curiosity, what does it look like to do that? You'd be right there. So we cut out the road in the back. But there's plenty of room in front of it. We don't really need a road in the back. Well, there's going to be because we're going to have entrances there. Let's leave the space, or or we put the ashery right there, though. Let's do the three, and then we'll do an ashery behind and an ashery over here. And then we'll do three more somewhere else. But I do like the look of these roofs all lined up like that. I think that looks like it's, it's intentional. Looks like it's almost the same structure. Okay, so ashery, you are back right over here. You alongside, let's get a space between, and line up the backs or the fronts? I think line up the fronts. Yeah, I believe so. So you're going to do that, and let's shift and put another one in. I've, whoops, didn't mean to do it that way, but that's the way it's going to be. So you behind, Leaves room over there in front of the brickworks to move around. Do we... Let's set you in between like that. That probably looks a little better. And it gives a little more room between buildings up there. Let's do that. Okay. So, with all of that, the soap works is there. Let's get the ashery next. I uh, didn't see how many... Two trees there, one tree there. So you are that one. You're going to come in afterward. I've seen other playthroughs and seen other comments that... Let's see, the Asheries make... Where are you? There you are. Make... Lie... Potash... And Ash... And you need the lye, I believe, to make the potash. Anyway, it, it just worked better if you use the same building for the to make the one chain. Rather than... Well, it's going to be hard to explain until, until we get it up and running. And you look crooked. You line up with the other ones, but you're crooked from everything else. Do we realign you while we can? Now we'll leave you guys aligned. We'll let the the road kind of absorb the crookedness. I think it'll be fine. Okay. It's kind of like the alley between. The main road's out over here and out in front. So this is just kind of 
It is what it is. <laughs> okay, so two asheries. And first one's tree is already down. You are the soap works. So that group is right there. And it'd be nice to see that other warehouse in the middle of all that too. So you can drop in like right there. Okay. So what else is going on? Row house is... Whoa. Row house is being built. Dang. Yeah. See, when I play games like this for myself, I, don't, I run on speed one. So I can be off doing other things and not miss half of a building. But, yeah, we're, I don't want to hit episode 200 with this series. We'll see. I have a feeling this series is going probably 75 episodes by the time it's all done. I think we're probably just a little bit more than halfway finished. I'm not going to fill the whole map up. The whole point is to see all the buildings. And we're going to see a lot of those buildings here. And we'll get over there to the, uh, the, the iron mines. Uh, Marifa, and see that going, and maybe a few more of a, you know, a little more of a, of a downtown-looking area with row houses and the church and what have you. But you know, by the time we get to that point, we've built pretty much everything. So this is a two-story, and somewhere in here, once we get a few of these built, I want to see where the next barber surgery would look right and look good. You are education health. So you need to be in this area somewhere too. And could be kind of right up against it. Oops. Fingers are off by a key. Everything messes up. So you could be something like that. Wouldn't look strange. But I'd still want to see this one built first before I do it. In fact, I wouldn't mind seeing both of these built. Anyway, everybody went home because it's August. It is harvest season. We are 50 minutes into this, so we might see a row house this time. We might not. And if we don't, I'm sure it's going to drive a lot of people nuts. <laughs> um, let's pop another tree or two in here. You are the birch trees, and I'm thinking one could fit here and here. And do we put one there? Let's do it there and there. So we kind of finish this this run right here. Okay. Every time I, I swing in here, I, that just kind of bugs me. Like I, like, I forgot part of it, but we hadn't laid it all out yet, so we didn't know where those trees were going to go. Did get another one of these guys planted, the cottonwoods. So filling in that void there. Otherwise, uh, August, we, we missed July. Did July happen? It did. You are empty. You're empty. Uh, you're still employed. You were still employed from a long time ago. Off season. Go away. Yeah, you've been employed all year long. Oops. Okay, so those got done. And I don't see any apples left in here. We still have Marifa happening. Let's... Ah, I see fruit. I see fruit. So we still have a few apples to go over here. Let's hire somebody for the rest of August. Um... I'm only seeing the one tree, but still, sure. Um, Marifa, right here, world map, did we lose you? You're 11 days left. You buy salt. I have missed you the last few times. Salt, 44.83 deal. Salt, 4.483, temporary, great. So that's... The biggie right there. All right, chickens, hemp. We have plenty of hemp now, and we got a whole crop of hemp and flax this time. Wheat. We have wheat coming in, but wheat. Three thousand. We're doing fine. Okay. So, in fact, for that matter, let's make sure you guys are still fully employed all year long. Everything but these two months and two people. Same with you. Okay, you're fine. All right, so you're going over here, and what was I doing? Marifa, you, roadmap, wheat. So we don't need wheat, honey, textile, broadcloth, warm clothes, or horses to sell sunflower, lime, dried fish. Nope. Sunflower oil. Nope. Flour. Eh? Town storage and export is all gone. What am I missing? I 
don't know. You're running. You've got 500 in there. Apparently, they never rehired. Interesting. That must be what happened. In between sowing and harvesting, the labor all went somewhere else. You know, went into the extra couple of carpenters and that sort of thing, which we don't need now because we don't have enough metal parts left. So over here, we're making parts. We have charcoal. We have iron. Over here, here, we have iron and we have charcoal. And making parts. Okay. So that was a big rush for carts. And we've got you left to do. You're up and running again. So it's you. You have carts we probably aren't even using. So we could have transferred you over, but we'll be working on these guys here real soon. And Marifa, we're still working on that. Flower. Yeah, what happened to the flower? So you're wanting to buy these things. Horseshoes, iron, metal parts, flax. Okay, so we're done with you. And I feel like I was doing something. We're done there. We are harvesting. Completed the row house. They've married and moved in. All right, slow down and let's think seriously about how this works. We have store, and in those stores, so we have a single store with eight items. I was thinking it was eight individual stores, so we're not actually going to get a whole lot in here. I've never done the row house before. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm far less impressed. I was thinking thinking that we were going to get a lot more variety out here. We're not. So I am going to need a market out here. Or I'm going to need a... Every row house is going to have to have a store in it. Huh. Yeah. So we need four row houses to have the same variety that we're going to have out at a market. There's two stalls worth here, and that's it. We have eight stalls in each of our markets. Okay, well, that kind of answered that. Let's set resources automatically. You went there. So dried fish is a definite. And I'd say fish is a definite, yeah. Uh, let's get a worker going. And you're going to be all the time. Chicken, eggs, and peas. There's always peas. What else is there always? Over here. Apples are quite often. There's always honey. So, back to store. Honey didn't hit. Apricots will be honey. Right there. Cherries will be one of the meats. Chicken meat. And one more. Funny, it didn't... Oh, you want apricots? No. So I guess that's just what's nearby. Okay. Um, I guess we'll stick to foods in this one. Well, firewood. No, we'll stick to foods with this one. So, what else would you be that is always out there onions are almost always out there okay so next one will be clothes and firewood and things like that all right well let's just put another one in right next door that's a shame so i've got the the tunnels we'll call them going through here the carriage uh, paths underneath these buildings and so let's just do another one of you right there and you can grab corners and move these things around but I really don't see the point in that let's think about the bigger one houses the bigger one with the store is this one right here and he looks like so might be kind of nice to have a little jump up right there and then drop back down into here and that'll be the end of these guys and maybe the sand moves somewhere else that doesn't seem like the sort of thing you'd have right in front so let's see if our footprints can line up really, really well. You go places occupied. Excuse me? What, someone walk in there? Really? The fence? The fence. Oh, because of the back stairs. Okay. So you delete. Alright, try that again. House, row house, three floors, store. Yeah, there you go. So you drop in...
Right there. Yep. And stone around the base. I guess the idea is that we're going to eventually stone the road through here. So it's kind of preparing for that idea. Okay, I kind of like that. Though this would be the main road right here that we would stone if we did it. And that's not for quite a while. That's long-term stuff. You know, you, you can't build up against the stone or on the stone. So you kind of want to do the stone last so you fi can figure out where that's going to go. All right, so apartment... Two, three, four. So it's four apartments. The store's taken one of them. There's only three families out here. I thought there'd be a lot more in these buildings. I was expecting five apartments and, you know, five stores or something like that. So you have married and, and moved in. Great. So we're getting workers out here for these businesses. So these workers will then move into other jobs out over here. I think that's what's going on. And that's probably going to work out just fine. So big one there, small one there. And let's go ahead and get you guys going. So you're going to be, we'll get the soap works up and going. So plow through those and then move into that one. And then three more village houses over here for more food variety. I think those are our marching orders. Then we'll start... These were just fillers just to do something. If we're not going to be building these houses yet, then they can probably wait. You are back in here, and these are all ready to build. Okay, so let's move you in probably before those guys. You are over there as well. And you right there. So... Those three, those three. You're the fishing dock we don't need yet. And then you guys are all the houses up in there. Now, what are you? Row house. Oh, these two out here that are waiting. But I want the stores in first. Then we've got the smelteries and the fulling mill. Okay. So I think we've kind of got the long-term plans figured out for a while. But that was... This episode's accomplishment, and yeah, not much food variety right now. Um, stores there, and I can choose to let, let everybody come and help move things into here. Okay, and I need a to hire someone, which I assumed would be, you know, someone who, who lives here. Let's see, hiring options, women only, and no seasonal. Okay, and click on this again interesting oh i clicked on that so this family needs more and they're they're off to go get them so they can probably reach this market over here to be honest it's just a long trip they can probably do that uh store one more time nobody is hired and where does she work she is unemployed so when she comes back with her stuff from the store nope there we go going to work and you live over there. Ah, but eventually, it would be nice to, to get a local, you know, a resident to work that store. But we are starting to get the store filled. And that's what's important. Fisher, dried fish are on their way in. Okay, so let's call this one done here. A new family settling into our town. So that is, that's all of them. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye now.